so good morning all uh, today we are going to <clears throat> uh, discuss on the topic armature reaction see first i would i would like to go with uh, you know uh, the definition of this uh, armature reaction and uh, then we'll switch to the conceptual part fine so uh, what is what armature reaction is meant for so it is meant for the effect of armature flux phi a on the main field flux phi f is called armature reaction see what is this armature flux and what is this main field flux etc etc we are going to um, explain now uh, sorry we are going to discuss now fine so now let us deal with this particular um, uh, generating action first and then we will switch to the armature reaction part so the you know this is what we are having so this is what the north pole and this is uh, the south pole we are having and we actually know uh, whenever we are providing some kind of uh, uh, you know dc supply to a magnet then uh, it dc supply to a coil then the poles are going to be generated so like uh, north and south poles here and now see we we know that flux is always used to move from the north to south axis like this so let me draw the flux lines so this is, these are the flux lines i'm going to draw here okay so these are being move, moved from the north to south tick this is the condition okay so this is the flux and you know uh, see this is the north and south poles and this is what the armature right so these two are the brushes and that's why this this is known as brush axis what it is brush axis okay so this is what and this flux is called main field flux right the flux which is flowing from north to south the flux which is flowing from north to south is called main field flux i'm going to write it like here i'm going to write it like so my this is called phi f main field flux okay now we'll discuss of uh, we'll discuss on the armature flux but before going to discuss on armature flux let us focus on how uh, how we are going to generate an emf uh, with the help of this uh, with the help of fleming's right hand uh, sorry uh, faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and how actually we are taking care of all those things right so for that so definitely what 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 actually a faraday law of electromagnetic induction saying us so whenever a conductor is placed in a magnetic field okay then uh, an emf is going to be uh, induced otherwise whenever uh, th that is what that means what if i am going to take a conductor and it is going to, if it is have a flux cutting action so definitely what is going to be happen e emf is going to be induced right how it is going to be induced i'll i'll tell you with the right hand thumb rule sorry right hand uh, fleming's right hand rule etc and then we will switch to the condition right yeah so let me take this is the conductor right these are these all are the conductors right so it is revolving like this so i'm assuming i'm assuming my my generator my uh, uh, armature is rotating in this fashion right in this fashion so that means i think it is clockwise so what i actually am saying you my dear students so i'm assuming one conductor and it is revolving like this so i told you whenever there is a flux cutting action then definitely there will be an emf induced so if you clearly observe one thing here in this particular conductor let me take the focus on the marker pin so here in this conductor there is huge flux cutting action takes place so that's the reason emf is going to be induced and if you clearly observe one thing and when the conductor is moving like this so from from this uh, this place to this place the flux cutting action is little less when compared to the previous one so that's the reason emf is going to be gradually decreasing and finally when it is going to be reaching towards this brush brush axis position so there will be there is no flux cutting action takes place so hence the, the the emf is going to be induced equal to zero otherwise how what is the another way of explaining sir what is another way of explaining this particular concept with the help of the fleming's right hand rule right let me tell you how it is going to be happen okay so let me tell you right let me tell you um, the conductor is moving like this okay conductor is moving like this so i'm i'm going to take the conductor is moving like this okay 
the conductor is moving like this we should know right how the cross and how the dot will be appear so let me give you uh, with my fleming's right hand rule this is what uh, my right hand and i'm going to use the fleming's right hand rule in order to know whether the current is entering or whether the current is leaving okay so what actually i'm going to consider i'm going to consider my right hand right hand here and see if you clearly observe one thing my th in, in fleming's right hand rule the thumb represents the direction of the motion of the conductor the forefinger represents the direction of the flux and the center finger represents direction of the emf induced or the current so if you clearly observe one thing here my thumb finger is going like this see if you i mean the conductor is moving like this so if you clearly observe one thing the, the arrow mark here so my conductor so it shows the direction of my thumb finger will shows the direction of the movement of the conductor rotation of the conductor so it is moving like this and obviously my flux is also moving like this okay my flux is moving like this so so if you clearly observe one thing my conductor is moving upwards i mean showing upwards and my flux is moving like this so very what about my center finger it is uh, pointing towards my board here right it is pointing towards my board here so that's the reason that's the reason i can play a cross i can place a cross in the conductor cross in the sense cross in the conductor in the sense i'm writing here cross represents current enters and dot represents current is leaving okay so now so now what is going to be happen here so when the conductor is moving like this so at the brush axis the conductor position will be like this okay conductor position will be like this so if you observe one thing so my thumb finger okay and if you clearly observe one thing the position of the con the movement of the conductor and the flux lines are going to be parallel to each other so hence there is no emf is going to be induced okay so this is the way of explanation so when it is coming towards the south under the south pole so what happening for example let me take this conductor so this conductor is moving down okay so that means it is like this so so if you clearly observe one thing again you try to apply right hand thumb rule here wait please please wait again if you are uh, applying right hand thumb rule here my thumb direction is like this and and my flux direction is like this see uh, please focus flux is always constant it, it, this is going in this fashion my my thumb is like this so if you clearly observe one thing my center finger is coming towards myself okay so that means this center finger so that's the reason we are going to take dot okay we are going to take dot so in this manner we are going to apply the things here so accordingly what is going to be happen when the conductor is moving like this so emf is going to be generated and if i am going to place any load here then we are going to get some current or uh, some current to be flowing in, in the in the particular load as uh, it is a closed circuit advantage uh, understood or so now we will focus on this armature flux okay